Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to share with you guys my true first personal experience with Apple's brand new Find My. Now Find My is the successor to Find My iPhone in iOS 12. In iOS 13, Apple has rebranded the application. As we know, Find My iPhone can help you find your Mac, your iPhone, your iPad, and all of your Apple products. So Apple has rebranded to Find My and it allows you now to find any of your Apple products without them being connected to the network. And this weekend, I had my first true personal experience with Find My and I thought it was the perfect chance to share with you guys my experience and what I think about the new service of Apple's Find My. Now the new Find My service is available for iPhones in iOS 13 as well as for iPads in iPad OS 13 as well as on the Mac for Mac OS Catalina. Now this weekend I went on a family trip right and I went to New York City. New York City is very packed. All the streets are very close together and uh, that's when I had my first true personal experience experience with the new find my service that I wanted to share with you guys I thought this was really cool this might help you in the future as well uh, so what happens is with the new find my service your iPad or Mac do not have to be connected to Wi-Fi or a network what it does as Apple explained at WWDC it sends out a small beacon which is data that travels or piggybacks with other network traffic and it relates back to your iOS device pinpointing exactly where your device is this is all encrypted and it sends it to your device and you can point where your iPad or Mac is and this is particularly important for Macs because Macs when you shut them they're no longer connected to the network so having this service will help you pinpoint your iOS or Mac OS device with the find my service using this new technology now as I mentioned I was in New York City a quick family trip and we parked around 44th and 10th Avenue and we couldn't really pinpoint exactly where we were parked I did drop a pin using Google Maps as well as Apple Maps but all the streets are so close together these GPS services were having issues locating my iPad but my iPad was in my bag inside of my car and I thought to myself why not use the new find my service to find the car so I pulled my phone out of my pocket I went into the find my application and long and behold I was walking for 30 minutes trying to find my car but when I used the find my service we got to the car instantly and I was very very happy that this service is working really really good on the latest iOS 13, iPad OS 13, and Mac OS Catalina. This was a lifesaver. I did go back to my car around 1 a.m. in the morning. We were walking for at least 15, 20 minutes and we couldn't find the car again based on the pin location drops that I did on both Google and Apple Maps. But Find My actually took me directly to my iPad, which was in my car. And uh, yes, we were able to go to the hotel and uh, have a good night overall. So if you ever have any experience where you can't find your car and you may have your iPad or your Mac inside of the car, this is a great way to actually pinpoint exactly where your car is or where your Apple product is, right? If you ever lose your Apple product, you now know that with iOS 13, Mac OS, and iPad OS 13, you can pinpoint these devices without them having to be connected to a network. I just wanted to share that experience with you guys. I thought it was something that I wanted to share because I haven't really had a chance to cover Find My in iOS 13, but now that I truly had a personal experience with the software, I can tell you it is a life saver. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys had a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.